These are called UV detecting beads. Now, in order to, for you to understand, because we're going to be in sunlight, we need to go back to Kim and have and kind of take a look at what Kim's got going. Uh, she has just a bag of, of beads. So see how they're white? Right. So indoors, they're perfectly white. That's okay. what they look like. All, all right? right. However, outdoors, as soon as you expose them to ultraviolet light, this is what you get to see. You ready? So put okay. your hand underneath. Ready? So I feel so like I'm a, box I'm a, a magic show. Yeah. So ready? Three, two, one. And now yeah. watch what happens. Oh, Truly did you see amazing. That? Oh, that's amazing. Isn't that amazing? So as soon as they the hit minute, ultraviolet light. Oh, the light, instant the sun hits them. Holy so there's a chemical or a pigment in each of these little pony beads that changes color when it's affected by ultraviolet light. Look at that, right before light. your eyes as, we, as yeah. they get direct sun. I know you want to see that. it again, so here we go. You ready? So okay. I, I, you play with this one, and I'll pull this one out. All ready? Right. Here we go. Three, two, one. There it goes. Wow. Isn't that just amazing? That is ama what are so these they, called again? They're called energy beads or UV beads. What and causes them to, what causes uh, the, the, what is the science behind it? Well, there's a pigment inside that actually, the, the chemical bond changes just a little bit to give you that reaction. Wow. So it changes color. I have now, to say, as soon as you go back amazing. inside, they go back white again. Do so they really? About 50,000 times. Really? So if then, I cover this up, is it, are yeah, we inside enough yeah, that if yeah, I... Yeah, go ahead. No, there's another one that's here. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah, so oh, oh and I just exposed it for you. No, that's okay. Now we have another one that's exposed. Well, you can imagine now what kids can do with it. Not only are they a fun craft but now imagine kind of the science angle i thought that spf 15 was just fine and spf 15 you can see what happened here i took a little of it right before we started and a little bit on here and then just kind of rubbed it into the bag and while you can see that it helped a little bit you can tell that it's still oh, uh, it's still picking still up a little bit here quite a bit of color yeah. and then we went all the way up to the very end there so take a look and pick up the spf so uh, this is 45. spf 45 yeah and so right. it doesn't look, and now compared to something that's yeah. nothing at all, you can tell that we really have started to block it out. So what can a, a student do? They can set up a science fair project uh, to determine which sunblock really is, is blocking out the UV. And some of the UV, will, yeah, I mean, you just can't block it out at all. But even look with this. I think this is great. Take a look and you can see how intense these colors are here. Look on the sides. If you can come in close on the sides, they're not nearly as intense. So here we go. I'll tip it down a little bit. See, that's intense. And if you look at here, see, it's not. And that means that the plastic is is filtering out the UV oh, light. For heaven's so in sakes. your car, believe it or not, that front windshield has mm. UV protection, but the side windshields do not. Boy, this SPF 15 does hardly. Well, I just mean, ask I, I my back. Right? Right. <laughs> so now you, but you would think that's pretty. That's pretty good. But uh, if the beads tell us, that's hardly any protection at not, all. Not much at all. Uh -uh. And especially for somebody that's fair skinned like I am. Take a look at the bracelet that you have sitting over here. If you okay. take a look at this, all right. perfect for a child to wear. And so now, even at the pool, you can put look a little that. sunscreen on it. Oh, that's kind I of fun. see. Isn't it fun? But it's just another way, it's a tool to get kids thinking about the damaging rays of ultraviolet light and also some preventative measures that we can take. And of course, the art project has to kind of come out if you're a school teacher. So you're ready? Let me unveil this one here. This was okay. a mosaic that right. the kids put together. So take a look at that. Wow. It literally just develops in the sun. Is that, I don't it gets, know if it's, it's wow instantly. I or can't mom. believe how quickly it's just amazing. it goes. That's but you remarkable. know, there's fingernail polish that does that now. There's uh, t-shirts that do that now. Anything that we can do to get kids thinking about the uh, ultraviolet light is pretty important. How do, how do you know uh, when you do, it must tell you when you buy them which which color is what? Is yeah, that, so absolutely. Otherwise, it's a, absolutely. you would not you would be unable to spell. And for anything the kids, with... uh, teachers have a blast with them because you just give the kids white beads and say, you know, that's all the budget would afford. <laughs> and, and of course, they go out to recess and they change color. And what a great way to be able to just get that uh, inquiry. These are remarkable. Yep, so you got that one these, covered these, up for a while. These are already white now. Yep. I mean, so they, they revert yeah. back very quickly. Very very fast. And then you go back again. Ready? Three. Get a good look at that, Brian. You ready? ready? Here we go. Three, Here we two, go. Three, one. one. Ah, look at so, that. Oh, look at him go. There Isn't goes. that amazing? Yeah. I, so you know what? You can test sunscreen. You, you test on a cloudy day. Even on a cloudy day, and we know that from skiing, you can still get some, uh, some pretty harmful UV and cover it back up again. So use your sunblock. And the last thing I have to leave you with is if they say uh, eight months, it means throw it away after eight months. You'll notice that SPF 45 isn't good or any of these are not good. When the manufacturer says throw them away, really, you got to throw them away. Yeah. We have a lot of uh, email about also sunscreens with DEET and there are a few, but they're not working real, yeah. real well. If you, for all of you who haven't gotten an answer yet, let me do this one more time, Brian. Are you ready? Are they, have <laughs> yeah. they reverted back yeah, already? They're one, good, two, three. Hup, hup. Oh! Yeah, I posted everything and all the experiments that I could think of that we like to try in class with the kids over there as well.